Now, in the last session, we were discussing about uh, Nadi and Ras, and we had to intervene somewhere in the middle. And uh, we will continue from that point where we have stopped. And uh, the next one, the Nadi Yantra is the Uttarvasti Yantra. Now, Uttarvasti Yantra is the Yantra which is mentioned in Samhita as a tubular instrument and which is used to introduce the medicines into the bladder. And it's a two varieties like Pumsam and Stena. The catheters which were used in those days were of metal catheters, rigid catheters, and hence they had to be of a different nature for the male and the female, following the shape of the urethra. The male uh, catheter would be somewhat curved, and the female catheter is uh, somewhat straight and shorter. And these kind of metal catheters are being used even now. But in the present day situation, we have a better option, multiple better options in terms of a flexible rubber catheter or the catheters which have an indwelling qualities or indwelling properties added so that the catheter doesn't fall off, like the police catheter or Manicott's catheter, Manicott's police, or so on, and Gibson catheter, so on. So you will have plenty of options. And most of the catheters which we use now are used to drain the bladder, then really introduce the medicines into the bladder. Chances of that kind of a situation where you have to introduce the medicine into the bladder are lesser now. And uh, but of course, a tube can be acted as two ways. So Sushruta Sutarvasti Yantra can be recognized with the, the catheters used now. Then the next up is uh, Basti Yantra. Basti Yantra is again a very uh, uh, popular instrument in uh, Sushruta's practice or Ayurvedic practice as such. And the original Basti Yantra would be having a bladder, and because the bladder of an animal was used, it's called as Basti. Uh, and a tube, Basti Netra, and the details of the Netra and their sizes, dimensions, they are mentioned very uh, significantly. But most of the times, when we give any man now, we prefer to use the gravitational force than the, the squeezing force. In case of that, the original Basti Yantra, that compression applied over the bladder. The bag is the deciding factor of uh, the amount of the fluid flowing into the cavity, the rectum, or it also can decide about how far it can go. Whereas in the present situation, most of the times we prefer a gravitational force so that the tube, the container is raised up and the gravitational force allows the fluid to pa pass through. The advantages would be there would be lesser chances of an accidental injury. Whereas when you squeeze with the manual compression, the pressure is not standardized, there is a possibility that it may injure. That's all the difference as such. But still, all that anima instruments which are used now can be considered as the Basti Yantra. Then Nutravardhi Yantra and Dakodara Yantra, they are the tubular structures accompanied with the needle. Uh, a Nak Vridhipatra Shastra and, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, Rihimukha Shastra and a Nadi Yantra combination. It's a combination of that which we call as the trochar and cannula and to drain the fluid from the cavity. A aspiration of ascites or aspiration of a hydrothel, it can be achieved with that. So all that kind of a trochar and cannula where a pointed instrument, the trochar and the cannula, the surrounding area, uh, tubular structure allows the fluid to pass through. So in combination it's penetrated into the cavity and once it enters into the cavity to drain the fluid, the trochar is removed and cannula is retained till the fluid is drained out and that kind of an instrument is a, the, either the Nutravardhi Yantra or the Dakodra Yantra depending upon the size, the dimension to drain a abdominal uh, fluid naturally the width of the instrument would be more and uh, to drain the, uh, the fluid from the hydrocele the width will be lesser the IV cannulas which we use now also are a similar uh, instrument where Combination of trochar and cannula is a is the, though we may not call it as nutravarti, but they are the derivation of the same. Another unique instrument used in a specialized bed was a dhuma yantra, was a dhuma bana, and the description would be of that the tubular structure, the tube which is of 32 centimeters or 32 angulas long, and the medicines are applied over the area, and then it's a smoke acid for a. Uh, this smoking of a uh, conventional, these uh, regular habits, the length of the smoking tube would be 32 angulas. So those who smoke regularly a cigarette now, 
and that kind of a cigarette is not a real standard cigarette use there. Anyway, uh, whether that Duma is a regular uh, frequency of the Duma being used is a less uh, common now, but of course it can be used in the same manner. The present instrument which we use is a, a modification of the same. Then Nirudha Prakash Yantra is a, the urethral dilators. But very interestingly, the dilators which we use now are rigid tubes and they are rigid rods like, not the tubes. Whereas Sushruta had used a tubular instrument which resembles that of a male urethra, no, male ureter, uh, urethral catheters, male urethral catheters as such. Uh, advantages of the rigid tube as we use now is uh, that it can be forced across a resistance and uh, hence the strength will be more. Whereas Sushruta had used a tubular instrument, naturally it may not have the same strength as such. But the advantages would be because it has a tubular structure, if at all there is an accidental blind opening, you can make out that much earlier because the blood starts flowing in. When you use the rigid catheter, this uh, dilator as we use now, you know that you have injured only after you have removed the catheter when there is a free flow of the blood. Uh, anyway, there are disadvantages and advantages, but uh, presently, what we use for the same purpose as used uh, uh, by Sushruta Parthan Yudhar Prakasha, uh, is a shalaka yantra than really a nadi yantra. But in, that's one of the modifications which we have. Similarly, a saniruddhukuda yantra is a, the anal dilators. Anal dilators also are, are now of different categories as they are available in the market and uh, they of different sizes are available. And of course, it's often said that the best of the anal dilator is uh, the fingers. Two or three fingers inserted in could be the dilators in case of uh, the strictures of the anus. Then Shringa and Arab, these are very specific instruments used in the context of Rattamokshana. So when we go into the Rattamokshana chapter, we will discuss more about these instruments and their utilities. So for the present it is just as such. Uh, the suction apparatuses which are used now could be an alternative to the Shringa and Jalabu. Uh, Alabu. In the present day situation, we may not use exact replica of the same instrument, but uh, we use the vacuum suctions of different categories to achieve the same purpose as such. So that's about the Nadi Yantras. Then the next category is the Shalaka Yantra. Shalaka Yantra niya bhi nana prakarani, nana prayojanani, yatha yoga parinah dirghanita, tesham, dandu pada, sarpapana, sharapunkha, badishamukhe, dved dved, yeshana vyuhana chalana ahrana artham gudishete. Dandu pada is a smooth surfaced tube, uh, a rod, something like the pro, and it is used for Yesha to make out the difference in the resistance. And Sarpafana is a Vyuhana, that's a Vyuhana is a Ranausas, a Udhvi Karanam Vyuhana, retraction, to hold the edges of the wounds properly. And I think we refer to this issue when we discussed about the Tala Yantra. So, the, this uh, retractors which we use are Sarpafana, the uh, shape of the instrument would be like a hood of a serpent. Sharapunkha Mukha is a Chalanam, is a Sada Chalanam Chalanam, moving uh, an object or hold an object to a firm position. Badisha is a hook like instrument and uh, uh, these are Upadishyata. Masura Kala Matra Mukha Dwe Kinche Dhanu Thakra Sota Gata Shalya Dhradartam is spoon like instrument to remove the objects from the Srotas. Uh, something like the Fogartish technique, a point which we again refer to in case of the Tala Yantra, that's about uh, the uh, Shalaka Yantra, uh, Masura Dara Matamukha Shalaka Yantra. Shat Karpa Sakrata Ushnishani, uh, Karpa Sakrata Ushnishani is a cotton bud and Sushut says if you have six of them to swab, Pramardana Kriya, so for the Pramardana or swabbing. Trini Dharvya Krita Ani Kharam Kani Kshara Ushad Pranidhanartam, Dharvya Krita is uh, the smooth uh, spoon-like instrument used to Transfer fluid from one point to the other. Three ni ani ani jambo udhani ani three ni angusha udhani ani shareva adni karma so kafi pratani. The adni karma instrument jambo udhani and angusha udhani. Now these again we will be discussing more in detail when we go into the adni karma chapter. Uh, but these uh, uh, differences of metallic instruments used for the adni karma would be only the mass. A jambo udhani is a rod with a big mass on the tip. Angushodhana is a fine tipped uh, uh, cautery uh, tip as such. 
and the advantages and disadvantages of that we will be discussing more when we discuss about dharni karma in the coming chapters nasa udaharanartham ekam kola sthitam matram kam khala tikshnastam the instrument used for treating the nasa nasal polyp is a very unique instrument used by sushila which is something like a curler where it can penetrate in and tear the polyp as such whereas in the present day situation we use a snap to remove the nasal polyp then really the uh, uh, curler uh, the advantage is that when you use a snap you will have a smooth cut whereas a curler would produce a irregular cut so it may take slightly more time as uh, to heal anyanartham ekam karaya parimandalam ubhedam kulagam a rod like instrument used to apply the medicine into the eyelids that's anyanartha shalaka yantra which has mukulagram tip which is soft as that of a bud bud as such nutra marga vishodhanartam ekam manati pushparam dakar pramana parimandalam iti sushila has mentioned another rod like instrument to clear the urinary tract but it's not a dilator this is used only to remove an obstructed structure obstructed urethra clean the obstructed urethra which is a rod like instrument whereas now we use dilators which are rigid rod like and catheters to remove the urine so there is a difference in the approach of that now something like uh, the same examples uh, image as a gandu padamuka the surgical probe sarcophagum ka shalakha uh, these uh, retractors sharapukum ka the depressors now these depressors are used in case of orthopedic surgery as well as oral surgery badishamukha the hooks often very frequently used in the dental surgery and masuda dala matra mukha suda the scoops which are used as such and darvya kritikala mukha are the smooth uh, spoon like instrument of course in the surgical practice rarely we use that but if, if whenever there is a need to transfer the fluid we may use that kind of instrument now in the onset of uh, with the uh, this evolution of the plastic and rubber materials we may not use exactly a similar one to transfer the fluid instead we may use uh, the other droppers and so on carpas of the usnisha shalaka is uh, the cotton buds uh, are used for swabbing now the jambavardhana and angushodhana are uh, the types of the cautery heads which we use and uh, as i said we will be discussing more about that later on the nasar budharana uh, is in, again is a nasal forceps and in the present nasal forceps we use a snare whereas sushita used to have a curler at the tip and the mutra marga vishodhanartham the stilet used in the catheter could be compared to that and anyanartham the eyebrow pen now that's about the shalaka yantras 